Hey guys, Topol24 back on another video today. I'm showing you how to kill Commander Zilliana and hopefully get that 75 mil drop the our model crossbow. So we're gonna jump into the gear setup really fast. We have the Justice Seer face guard for more tanky stuff. Obviously, you can use the Crystal Helm where they are model helmet. If you want something possibly better for you, I just need more tanky stuff because I'm still more of a noob for this. Then you have the Ambient Fury. You can have the Necklace of Anguish if you want to. Obviously, once again, more tanky. Dragon, Bolts, Diamond, Enchanted, Aves is a similar, our model chest plate. Our model chain skirt, Zamorak Dehyde boots. Once again, it's so that you can not get attacked by the dweebs, the werewolves, and before the room while you get your 40 kills, you can obviously get the Pegasusian boots instead. The Archer's Ring, what you can also get is the Ring of Suffering imbued or the Ring of Endurance, so you can run more. Barrows gloves, Twisted Buckler, our model crossbow. And in our inventory, we have our Serpentine Helm, and the Toxic, toxic Blow Pipe is for killing those 40 guys before you enter the room. And the Serpentine Helm is so that you can tag the guys once you get in the room. The three Demi Bosses is what I call them. Um, and tag them, aka, like you tag them with poison. So throughout the fight, they end up dying slowly, so that when you end up killing them solo, each of them, they are already have health. Then, this is just my current setup. You can do whatever you want. A lot of people may judge me for what I have, but I am more newbie on this once again, so I'm just trying to figure out. So, I have four Stammy Brews, two Divine Bastion Potions for increased defense and range. I have seven Super Restores, seven Serodrin Brews, three Sharks while you're attacking those 40 guys, just a nice little way to eat up, and then one Angler Fish. You have Bones to Peaches, you can bring as many as you want, and you have your Trollheim Teleport. The reason why you have two Trollheim Teleports is one to get there, one to revert back to House Teleport for the emergency escape. So other than that, let's get it, got it good. So once you get to Trollheim, you're going to want to run down these obstacle courses, as it requires level 43 agility. Then you're going to run to the north, you're going to pray range because you're gonna have the dweebs throwing rocks at you I know it's going to be just like a rock and roll party and then you're gonna go through this little crack once again you need level 60 agility this time once you get through that crack you're gonna get into this area right here where it's snowing and you're gonna run to the dot god wars dungeon there will be wolves there so sometimes I do pray against attack just so they don't do extra damage to me pray right out here and these guys won't be able to hit you and then crawl through a little crack. Once you get here, obviously it's gonna start draining your stats. So this is why I'm going to actually build this fire over here. This is called the Fire of Unseasonable Warmth. Warmth. This way I will never have to have the stat drain anymore. So you would then the snow goes away and it will no longer drain your stats. The blowpipe. Then we want to run to the southeast towards this little checkerboard setup right here. And that is where we will begin to get our Serotomin kills. So my most suggested ones are the Knight of Serotomin, which are lower level ones. If it's your first time in the God Wars dungeon and trying to go to Commander Zilliana, you have to have level 70 agility and you need two ropes. One for the first obstacle right here, located in the southeast portion of the God's Wars dungeon. And another one right here that takes you to the final room before the door. So two ropes and level 70 agility. So pretty much what we're going to do is going to pray protect from magic and argury, or sorry, rigor. And then start tagging as many of these guys as we can, as quickly as we can. So before the dweeb starts attacking us pretty much. Let's get a little bit of distance from us. There we go. Cool. We're going to run across if we can, just so we can tag this last guy. Tag him. Bree. Like the cheese. Uh, and put all of our stuff back on, and we're just going to start the fight. Oh, cool. She's, she's going to be standing there for us. Let's see if we can get some tats hits on. Oh, run away so she doesn't hit us. Get to the corner. Get that last hit on her, and then run our line like normal. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this video helped. Have a great night.